Welcome back on Sigaz's Memory Channel. Thank you very much for all your subscribe and all your likes on our last video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something very important for every new beginners in the cigar industry. It's about how to cut your cigars. Today, I'm going to talk to you, first of all, with this guillotine cut. So the guillotine cut is a very nice cut. So with this cut was created by Gustave Guillotin, who created amazing um, and terrifying machine during his period. The one most famous one is the guillotine. The guillotine helped to cut the head of our French king and all during the French Revolution. The second one I'm going to talk to you about today is about the V-cut. The V-cut is pretty useful when you're using a big cigars because you can have a deeper understanding of the flavors and the aromas of the cigars. It's very clean, very sharp, and very easy to use with this Colibri V-cut. Then, the last one I use but not often is the punch cut. So the punch cut you can find in any place, in any taba shop, and even for sure is one of the cheapest ones. This punch cut helps you to do like a small hole in your cigars. So you can really get a good inspiration and good deep um, flavors on your mouth with this aroma and with this punch cut. So now I'm going to show you how to cut your cigar. So guys, on this table you can see all the accessories I just mentioned. On my side, I had this beautiful Colibri V-cut, this Zeno guillotine cut, and this elegant and charming punch where you can see the pig just going out and going in. And to do this uh, cutting, I'm going to use and this uh, Yohat Nicaragua black. Let's start. So, the first one I'm going to say is about the guillotine cut. So you take your cigars in one hand, you take the, the guillotine cut in the second hand. And one thing is very important is on your cigar, this you have the, the head of the cigars, you can see different lines. And it's important to not cut too short and not to cut through back because you can really use all these aromas and all the wrapper can be destroyed. So let's do a small and tiny cut. Up, you grab rally and and you cut. There we go. So the cutting is pretty cool. Um, it's not too not too sharp, not too it's clean and it's neat. So let's see for the second one. Then here we have also this Johan Nicaragua black that I discovered with uh, my friends and mentor from uh, Sigral when I was in, in Hong Kong. For this one, we're going to use the V-cut. So as motion, you take in one hand you have your cigar and the second hand you have your V-cut. You put up a little bit, you clean because the V-cut is depend how you want to straight. It's better, it's better if you use straight line as here. So the V-cut is over there. You cut. There we go. And as you can see, the V-cut is pretty cool and pretty neat. So it's not damaged too much your cigars. Uh, it's not um, killing the wrappers and it's pretty cool to use it. Then the last one is about um, the punch. So as mentioned, the punch is on two sides. Um, one side is the accessories you can keep to your shank keys and the second one is where is the punch. And as mentioned, the punch is very simple because it's just a small pick going in and going out. So let's do it. So you take in one hand, up, you match the middle, you press,
here we go and and you can see this tiny hole is pretty sharp pretty nice clean and you can really enjoy every kind of smoke thank you very much to watching this video i hope you enjoy it and please free share your best cutting style in comment below I'm going to post all the information about the cigar cutting style and all the accessories I'm using for this video in comment. Don't forget to subscribe to see the next videos. So now, with all these three types of cutting style, you can really enjoy your cigar experience at home, in a cigar lounge or even with your friends. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.